Uh oh, cheated a bit. But... Oh no. Oh my, don't come in. Hey yo, it's Jam Joe, and today I'm going to be attempting to put a keyboard together as fast as I can in less than 10 minutes. So for the rules, I set them up for the specific build since there weren't any to begin with. There must be 67 keys on the board, the board must be hot swap, switches must be placed in the board by hand, any profile keycaps can be used, and all keys must work to be deemed a legitimate run. Alright, so first we gotta prep the board. Alright, so I got this package from Divinity here. And so for the board we're using in this video, we're going to be using the KBD 67 Lite. I chose this board for this run since it is pretty solid, other than the font. Imagine using such a basic font for your branding. Oh. Anyways, taking the board apart, we have the PCB foam, polycarbonate plate, mute silicone dampener, the PCB, and the stabilizers. Alright, so to make the board sound nutty, we gotta mod the stabs first. So first we clip the- Oh. Anyways, we gotta lube them up and make them sound nice for the build. So while I'm doing that, I just wanted to thank you guys for the massive support I received in the last video. We've gone from 69 subscribers to over 700, which is mind-blowing to me. So if you want to see more videos from me, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and it's not going to take me a month to post another video. Alright, back to the build. So the reason the stabilizers are not included in this run is because they are actually hard to get to. If I could use play mounted stabilizers which are easy to install and remove, it would make the run easier, but the modifiers on the board wouldn't sound as nice. Moving on to the switches, I'll be using ones I bought from Jankeebs. Oh, these are for another video. We're gonna be using Gateron Black Ink V2s. Egg. You probably know the Black Inks as the king of smooth and great sounding switches, but we gotta lube them first. But how do I lube these switches fast? Simple. First take a box, then put your switches in there, some Crytox lube, and some Deskies films to make them sound deeper in pitch. Close the box, and then just And boom! Lubed and filmed black inks just like that. So for the keycaps, I actually have a little story behind them. Back in February, KBD fans held a giveaway, and I somehow won an item. So it looks like we got some keycaps from Key Creative. So if you don't know what these are, these are actually the ABS UV print keycaps you can get from Z Frontier. They're actually pretty affordable and they offer many colors and sub-legend options. Since these are UV printed, you'll be able to feel the legends, but they will eventually fade over time and use. And now, we have everything to attempt this run. Alright, so we have the board, the keycaps, uh, the switches, a live split timer, another timer, and a button to stop the timer. Here's a refresher of the rules. Timer stops when I put the last keycap on and press the button. Ready, and... This feels so weird. Oh no. Okay, I kinda, I kinda, you know, cheated a bit, but... That sounds really bad, but... Oh no! No, that's that was not it. No. Oh my, don't come in.
So I didn't get under 10 minutes, but I did end up completing the build. So now we're going to see whether all the keys work so it can be deemed a legitimate run. Also, I didn't want to make another KBD67 light review or build video because there are so many out there already. So I wanted to do something that was a bit more fun and entertaining. And to finish it off, we have the sound test. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Holy... Oh my 